In the year 1956, Germany offered technical assistance to India for the formation of a higher educational institution. This Indo-German agreement led to the establishment of IITM in the year 1959. Yes, we are talking about the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, which was the third IIT to be established in India after IIT Kharagpur and IIT Bombay. This prestigious institute is well known for its education and research the world over. It is a completely residential campus with more than 550 faculties and 8,000 students. IITM was awarded as the best educational institution in India by the Ministry of Education in the year 2019. And today in this video, I, Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer is going to tell you all about the PhD program from this prestigious institute. So let us start with our section one, where we are going to discuss the research areas which are being offered by IITM to pursue a PhD. So IIT Madras lets you pursue a PhD in the areas of science, engineering and technology, humanities, social sciences and management. Besides this, it also offers PhD in multiple interdisciplinary areas. Now these might look just like six areas of PhD, but actually in inside each of these six areas, we have multiple sub areas and numerous subjects. So if you have a closer look, you will understand that IITM is actually offering a PhD in all relevant topics and areas of today's time. Remember, IIT, IIMs and all other institutions of national importance lets you apply for a PhD program in more than two areas. Of course, ultimately you'll be pursuing it in one of the areas, but you can at least apply in two or more areas. So for that, it is important to understand which would be the areas which are most suitable for you. If in case at any point of time you want some kind of guidance about the areas you are eligible to apply or you could apply and what would be the most suitable areas for you given your future goals, aspirations and your qualification and you need guidance for the same, then you can always get in touch with me on the number given below. From here, we move on to our section two, where we are going to discuss the types of PhD scholars or we are going to discuss IIT M offers part-time and full-time PhD. So yes, uh, IIT M is offering both part-time and full-time PhD. If you want to become a full-time uh, scholar in IIT M, then there are three options for you. You can either qualify one of the fellowship examination like the UGC NET GRF or Biotechnology Eligibility Exam or GEST or the uh, Department of Mathematics Eligibility Exam. So you can qualify one of the fellowship exams prior to applying into IITM and in that case you would get admission in the external fellowship category under the full-time research scholar. If you have not qualified any of the fellowship examination, you've just qualified one of the eligibility examination, then in that case, you can apply to IITM for the under the institutional fellowship category. In this category, if you do qualify, you would be getting a fellowship or a monthly stipend to pursue a PhD from IIT Madras. And this fellowship would be given to you by the institute that is by IIT Madras themselves. There is also a third category which is where you can apply as a full-time scholar in a non-fellowship category. So you would be a fellow, you would be a full-time scholar, you would be residing within the campus, you would be coming to the campus daily just like any other full-time scholar but you would not be getting a fellowship from IIT Madras. So this is the non-fellowship categories. If you are a working professional who wants to pursue a PhD from this prestigious institute but doesn't want to quit their job, 
don't worry you can apply as a part-time scholar in this institute you can apply as a part-time scholar in self-finance mode or you can also apply in the sponsored category mode in which case you need to be sponsored from your organization remember in both these cases you do need a no objection certificate from your organization with this we come to the third section of this video where we are going to discuss what are the qualification which are required to pursue a PhD from IITM. So all of us know that postgraduates can apply a PhD. However, along with postgraduates, IITM also allows BTECs, MBBS and BDS students. That is students who have completed their graduation four year or five year graduation can also pursue a PhD directly after their graduation from IITM. In case you are still pursuing your qualifying degree, you are in your final semester or your final year, then you are also eligible to apply for a PhD in this prestigious institute. Yes, of course, you will have to complete all the formalities of your qualifying degree. That is, you'll have to complete all your examinations and viva before the start of your PhD program. Talking about the eligibility examination. So eligibility examination is not a compulsory requirement to apply to IITM. Different whether you require an uh, eligibility exam or not completely depends on which area you're applying for. You're applying as a full-time scholar, as a part-time scholar and which subject you're applying for. Remember, GATE is not the only eligibility exam which you can give. IIT accepts besides GATE multiple other eligibility exams totally depending in the subject and area you are applying into. That's all about IITM. In case you need any other further detail, then you can always get in touch with me. Not only for further detail, in case you are looking you, you aspire to pursue a PhD from one of the IITs, IIMs or any other prestigious institute and you are looking to have complete detail and guidance, guidance about the same. If in case you want somebody to mentor you about what is the application process, which are the most suitable institute for you, how can you look for the suitable research areas, how do you look for suitable research topics, what reading material should you read, how do you prepare an SOP or a research proposal or how do you prepare for VIVA? In short, any guidance you require for your PhD admission, then you can always get in touch with me on the number given below for a one-to-one -one personalized mentoring session. I hope you did like this video and found it informative. If you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my videos.